Hey guys, Sparks back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video, and we are doing something pretty special this time. I am doing some viewer polls, but instead of doing banner summons, we are doing molds. You guys know that I have crazy luck with molds. I do mold polls at the end of almost all my videos, as well as on stream, and they always slap. I've gotten some crazy stuff, so hopefully my amazing luck will carry over to my viewer as well. Thank you, Malk, for the submission and allowing us to do all these molds here on stream, and of course for the VOD that those of you on YouTube are watching right now. So we have molds of mid quality, high quality, Elysian, Missilus, Tetra, Pilgrim molds, and we got some manufactured gear boxes here too. So we're gonna do all of these, and I think we are going to warm up with the gear box right here. Hopefully we can get some fantastic Pilgrim equipment. We did get Pilgrim equipment. Okay, okay, so we're off to a good start. I mean, Pilgrim attacker would have been good. But we got Pilgrim defender gloves. Not bad. Not a bad way to, to warm up. He's also got this Noah spare body here waiting for when he gets Noah. And now he has some uh, gloves waiting for her to equip as well. All right, so I think we will go to our mid quality molds next. We got six of them here. And, okay, well, for an SR, Anne is one of the best. Better than some SSRs, actually. So not a bad way to start out our mid quality molds. Let's get to the next one. Micah, okay. We're, we're, we're going back down again. That, that's not as good. If we can get at least one SSR out of these mid-quality molds, I think that uh, we'll, we'll probably be happy with that. Delta, one of the few units that actually looks like she's going into combat, so gotta give Delta a little bit of respect for that. Neon, alright, well so far we've yet to get a duplicate. We're getting all SRs out of these, of every type. All right, there we go. There is our first SSR. It's asking us if we want to review the game. I am not going to. But we got a noise. One of the best looking units in the game. One of my top tier waifus for sure. Hopefully Malk is happy with that. Uh, and you're never going to complain about any SSR that you get out of a mold. Okay, I think we have one more. This is our last SR mold. Another Mica. All right, well... It is what it is. Like I said, as long as we got at least one SSR out of those mid-quality molds, I consider that to be pretty good results. And Noise is definitely a solid one. Fantastic in arena and decent for survivability if you need to put her on like your, you know, one of your last uh, solo raid teams or something like that as well. She has some, some pretty good utility there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do our high-quality molds. We're going to save our manufacturer ones for last. So we have four high-quality molds. Let's get into it. Nice. Starting off with a bang, we got another SSR. We got Jackal, another rocket launcher, another really strong PvP unit. So we are riding the PvP unit hype train right now with Noise and Jackal. By the way, I just recently put out a video on the new Relic Quantum Cube. It's the newest cube to come out in Nikkei, and it is a fantastic cube to equip to Jackal. Gives her even higher burst generation. All right, let's go ahead and do our second high quality mold. Nice, yo, we are getting SSRs, what is that, three in a row now? Well, I guess technically we had a Micah in between there, but Alice, top tier DPS in the game, fantastic for raids, special interceptions, just one of the best units in the game. All right, all right, all right, the things are going very well here. Oh, don't, don't wanna go to, don't wanna go to Tetra yet, okay. I got excited about Tetra units. I, I pulled an Alice and went straight for another one. Okay, let's go back to another high quality mold. Yo, SSRs every single time. These hands never miss. All right, we got a biscuit. One of the units that I don't have personally, so congratulations to Malk on your biscuit. I think that actually makes her core one for you. And again, another good PvP unit. You're getting really good arena units here. All right, um, we got one final high quality mold and another SSR, which is Dola. One of my favorite units, very good. Um, she can fit onto a Snow White team. She's great for putting on like one of your raid teams, has that CT cooldown. Um, yeah, 
also has the fantastic skin, which I believe Malk has, so uh, Dola will be looking even better. I don't think we missed on a single one of those SSR molds. So even if, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but even if we get nothing on the rest of these manufacturer molds, we have already like gotten uh, really good results here. Okay, so I think we're going to start out with um, potentially the most disappointing one because it's Elysian, not because it's necessarily going to be bad luck or it's worse rates than the other manufacturers, but Elysian really needs some love. Um, shift up, give us some more Elysian units, particularly high DPS, okay? We're all struggling in the tower, so hopefully uh, Malk can get a strong DPS Elysian unit here. Pretty! Okay, probably the best DPS um, Elysian unit. There you go. Also fantastic for the current solo raid. Um, also really good in PvP. Keep riding that PvP train here. And uh, one of my personal favorites units. Privity was my original DPS when I first uh, re-rolled for the game. Okay, moving right along. We are going to do a Tetra unit. Can we go two for two on Alice? No, that would be asking for too much. We have now gone three for three with Micah. All right. <laughs> Micah is the only unit that we have been um, getting repeats of here. So, you know, whatever. I guess I guess you, you probably have like core 37 Micah by now. Okay, um, let's go ahead and do Missless. Um, another faction that could use some more units. The thing is, Missilist doesn't have a lot of units, but they have a lot of really high quality units. So for me personally, if this was my mold, I'd really be hoping for Maxwell, because I don't have Maxwell yet. Um, but, you know, tons of good units here in Missilist. Um, other than Maxwell, other good results would be uh, Leader, of course, or Laplace, or is Senti Missilist? I think she's Missilist too. Um, yeah, of course, because she's on the same squad as, uh, as leader, so. Anyway, lots of good things here. Let's go ahead and see what we can get from this missileless mold. Anise. Not one of the better missileless units, but, you know, Anise does look fantastic. She has some great feminine assets up front there, uh, possibly rivaling Noir. Okay, so that brings us to... Possibly the scariest moment that any Nikkei player has the dreaded Pilgrim mold. Now, personally, I have managed to pull Pilgrims from both of my Pilgrim molds. We've had some really great luck here so far. Wishing Malk the best here. Let's try and get a Pilgrim. Yes! All right, we hit it. All right, we got an Isabel. Now, some people might be kind of hating on Isabel. They say she's the worst pilgrim, but you're never going to complain as long as you get a pilgrim out of your pilgrim mold. I would love to have Isabel. She's one of the few units that I don't have, and her design looks fantastic. Um, yeah, how could you not like Isabel? She's also super good for Gravedigger and can do a crazy burst cycling team with Vesti. If you have those both units, you might want to try them out for the current solo raid. So yeah, all right. Thank you again for Malk for letting us do all of these molds on stream and making the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out my Discord in the description below or any of my other videos. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next stream or on the next video.